The hottest prospect in the summer break, Oscar Piastri has finally landed the McLaren seat in a two-year deal with a working-based team. This saw his compatriot Daniel Ricciardo losing his seat for the 2023 season and becoming a free agent from the next year in what turned out to be one of the most exciting summer breaks ever. But after everything that happened and after all the storm that had been caused by Piastri and the vacant Alpine seat he left behind him, there has been a statement from his future teammate regarding their future collaboration. After crushing Ricardo's hopes of staying with McLaren with his dominant performance, Norris has spoken up about the future with Piastri and if you want to find out what he said about the younger Aussie, stick around with us until the end of this video. Lando Norris is one hell of a talented driver and he's shown that in the previous season with McLaren. The fact that he was able to absolutely outperform Ricardo in the same machinery goes to show that the future is bright for this kid and he is just 22 years old. He and Piastri will be the youngest duo on the grid with a combined age of just 43 years. That's almost the age of Fernando Alonso. Now that he will have a new teammate and definitely a bigger challenge to prove himself yet again as the number one choice in McLaren, Norris has spoken up about the future that he expects to have with Piastri, saying, I'm excited to work with someone different. I've had two very different, extremely good drivers. Carlos Sainz Jr. and Ricardo as teammates in my first few years in Formula 1, so I always look forward to working with someone new. I just hope that they are someone you can get along with and have some fun with, but I also don't mind if they hate me and they never want to talk to me. It's evident that Norris has set the rules straight away and the number one spot in McLaren is going to be a very big challenge for Piastri to conquer. He is young and he's shown that he can win championships in F3 and F2. However, F1 is a whole different circuit and here the strong prey on the weak. That is something that Piastri needs to have in mind and he doesn't have to look further when it comes to examples, as the guy that he's replaced has been literally torn apart from his teammate with his performance. Lando Norris has also spoken about having Sainz Jr. and Ricardo as his teammates as he judged the line with them when it comes to being friends but also retained a ruthless competitiveness. He elaborated, you have to get people who are more ruthless and at the same time don't want to be as friendly. I guess there'd be differences between Carlos and Daniel. Daniel is just a guy you can have a lot of laughs with and you want to make each other laugh and enjoy things. As soon as you get out the car, it's serious. But when you don't have to be as serious, you enjoy it and you have fun. With Carlos, a lot of it was going out to play golf and going out sometimes and things like that. We have a lot of respect for one another, but we're also just good friends away from the circuit. But everyone knows when we're on track, there's nothing more that we want to do than beat each other. Norris was the main reason why McLaren is currently fighting Alpine for the P4 spot in the Constructors' Championship, along with Sainz, the dominance they put in 2020 led McLaren to the P3 spot on the Constructors' Championship. That is why Piastri will have a hard time beating Norris, especially after seeing how Ricardo had a hard time fitting with McLaren's car. Nevertheless, the RC remains positive about this situation, adding, Their enthusiasm to have me was very attractive. Zach and Andreas were very straightforward and to the point. McLaren have a competitive car. Obviously, it's a tight battle between Alpine and McLaren right now, but they are a competitive team with a hell of a lot of winning history, and I think the environment is a great fit for me. The team has great plans and the future is exciting. I'm also looking forward to working and driving alongside Lando. I know it's going to be a challenge, but I feel McLaren is the right place for me to start life in F1. I'm super excited to get started. With that being said, what do you think will happen next in McLaren? How do you think Piastri will blend in with McLaren? And do you think that the chemistry between them will bloom from day one? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you want to know about the controversy that Hamilton sparked up with what he had to say about Ricardo, the guy that Piastri replaced in McLaren, click on this video that's popped up on the side of your screen.